The real action in the 2020 presidential campaign will not be televised. It'll be on Facebook. While President Trump loves Twitter, his campaign is focused on using Facebook to fire up his base, vacuum up donations, and persuade voters. Facebook is such a central part of Trump's re-election strategy that Trump named the guy responsible for placing Facebook ads in 2016, Brad Parscale, as his 2020 campaign manager. Every day, the Trump campaign places hundreds of new ads on Facebook. Election day is a long way off, but the Trump campaign is already spending hundreds of thousands of dollars every week on the platform. How is Trump spending all that money? I've been devoting a lot of time to monitoring the Trump campaign's activity on Facebook. And here are three things I've discovered. First, the fake endorsements. Some of Trump's ads are pretty basic. They feature attractive people saying very nice things about the president. For example, there's this ad featuring Tracy, a young woman with blonde hair who really loves President Trump. The problem is that Tracy is not a real Trump supporter. She's actually a stock photo model. You can buy the video of Tracy called Summer Beach Beauty Walking on iStockphoto.com. The video was shot in France. Another ad features Thomas, a young bearded hipster who's also a huge fan of Trump. But Thomas is also not real. He's a stock photo model, and the video and photos of Thomas using these ads were shot in Turkey. The second thing you'll find, the Groundhog Day contest. Many of the Trump ads are designed to separate Trump supporters from their money. A key tactic employed by Trump to do this is a contest. Donate money and, for example, you'll be entered into a contest to win a MAGA hat signed by Trump. To add urgency to this appeal, many of the ads stress that the contest ends at 11.59 tonight, so you must donate now to have a chance. But this isn't true. The Trump campaign often runs these ads claiming a contest has a midnight deadline for days or weeks. In other words, he's scamming his own supporters. And finally, the lies. Many of the ads feature lies about Democrats and other Trump enemies. For example, after dozens of people were killed in mass shootings in August, the Trump campaign began running a Facebook ad claiming Democrats are advocating a repeal of the Second Amendment. This is a lie. None of Trump's Democratic opponents advocate repealing the Second Amendment. No Democratic member of Congress has submitted a constitutional amendment to repeal the Second Amendment since 1992. The only prominent figure to recently argue that the Second Amendment should be repealed is former Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens. Stevens is a Republican who was appointed to the court by a Republican president. These ads violate Facebook's policy against false or misleading content, but Facebook is not enforcing its own rules. Remember, there's still more than a year before the 2020 election. Things on Facebook are likely to get much worse. To keep up with what's happening, sign up for my newsletter, Popular Information, at popular.info.